Did you love superhero movies? Then let's create Doctor Strange Portal animation on our channel. Thanks, I fi. First of all, delete the light. Then go to world setting and select sky texture and reduce it strength to 0.6. Then select the cube and go to geometry node and remove group input and connect curve circle by pressing shift A. Connect transform node because we have to rotate it on x axis by 90 degree. Press 1 for front view. Now we want to add rotation and formation animation to the circle. For that connect trim curve node. Now when you move the end you see nothing happens to the curve because for trimming the curve we have to add a end and start point to the curve. For that add set spline cycles in between transform and trim curve. This will add a starting or end point or you can say open area to the curve. You can reduce the gap by increasing the resolution of curve circle. Now add curve to mesh because we want to add some geometry to the curve. Then connect quadrilateral to curve to mesh. Reduce quadrilateral height and width to 0.05. Now we will add a rotation loop to the curve circle. For that on transform rotation y type hashtag frame divided by 4. Add a timeline if you want to see whether the timeline is moving or not. Add a realize instance node because we are going to play with particles system further in the tutorial. Come back to the layout and press 1 for front view. Increase the scale value of circle to 5. Then move the circle to Z axis by 6.1. Press 1 for the front view then select the camera and press Ctrl Alt 0. This will set your camera to the view. Adjust camera focal length and we will adjust it on Y axis later in the tutorial. Then add a plane by pressing shift A. Then rotate it on X axis by pressing RX90. Move it on a Z axis Z location by 6.1. Now press 0 and scale the plane so that it will cover the entire camera view. Move it little bit backward also. Rename it if you want. Press Shift A, Miss Circle. Increase its vertex to 64 and rotate it 90 degree on X axis. Move it on Z location to 6.1. Scale it by 5. Hide the cube and go to the edit menu by pressing tab key. Press A to select everything then press F to fill it. Then again press tab key to come back to the object mode. Then unhide the cube and go to shading tab. Then select the circle and click new for new material and rename it. Then add image texture by pressing shift A and connect it with base color. Then click Ctrl T if you have enabled Node Wrangler, otherwise you can enable it on it in add-ons. Click Open in Image Texture and select your video which you want to add in the middle. Video is not looking correct. For that convert the left portion into UV Editor. Then select the circle and press Tab key for Edit Mode. Press U in the keyboard and select Unwrap. This will unwrap the circle in the UV editor. Now you can press A in the UV editor to select the circle and you can now adjust its rotation scale everything bring it to the center by the help of G key then press R and rotate it and S if you want to scale it press tab key in the 3D viewport to come back to the object mode. 
and check auto refresh in image texture and frame rate to 250 according to our timeline now if you see it closely you can see that the video is playing similarly we will add a video to the background also select the background and unhide it click new and rename it then connect image texture to the base color by pressing shift a then press ctrl t if you have enabled node wrangler otherwise you can enable it in add-ons then press open in image texture and select your video add a timeline again you have to check auto refresh and add 250 frame now you can see the video is playing to see it more specifically with the camera view select the camera go to the camera setting and go to viewport display and increase passport strength then come back to the layout and hide everything except the cube select the cube and go to the geometry node because we will add two more animation to it one is forming this circle and the second animation is scaling the circle at frame 25 decrease the scale value to 0 in transform node and also decrease the end to 0 then enter keyframe at frame 100 increase the scale value to 1 and enter keyframe and increase the end to 1 also and enter keyframe now see the animation is ready but we also want to make the circle disappear for that go to frame 219 and enter keyframe in both again go to frame 220 and enter keyframe in both then go to last frame and decrease the value of scale and end then again enter keyframe this will add a appearing then disappearing effect to the circle now it's the time for most important part which is particle system come back to the layout press 1 for the front view then go to particle setting particle menu and click plus icon to add a particle system rename it because we will add two or three more particle system i have created this animation earlier also before recording it and every time you have to spend some time with particle system to achieve best possible result so don't be panic spend time with particle system values play with it and you will achieve the best possible result add to the number currently we will increase it further in the tutorial now when you play the animation you will see particles starts from the middle click source then check use modifiers stats to follow the particles to the circle our circle is starting at frame 25 so we will select 25 in frame start and 250 at end increase life randomness to 1 and lifetime to 5 go to field weight and decrease gravity on velocity and decrease the normal to point minus 5 and increase the object velocity to 1 click on in render as select object now we have to add a object we will add a cube by pressing shift a then press g x and move it on x axis press s to reduce its scale press s y scale it only on y axis press s z to decrease it in the z axis only press s x to decrease it on x axis only remember this you will need it further in the tutorial select the circle press the periodic key to make it as a center object then in instance object select the cube now when you play the animation you will see the animation is forming but the particles are facing differently to make it correct check rotation now in physics add a little bit damp 
then increase the particles in render as i mentioned earlier you have to spend little bit time with particle system to achieve best possible result increase the scale randomness i have done all this thing earlier but again i have to spend some time to achieve some result we will increase the number later add a sphere because we will use it as a sparkles in the second particle system move it on x axis by pressing gx then reduce its scale by pressing s click this circle press plus sign to add one more particle system rename it click this button if the first particle system is making your computer laggy this will hide the first particle system only in the viewport increase the number 5000 we will increase it later in the tutorial then frame start 25 frame end 250 and lifetime 7 and lifetime randomness near 0.5 again in source file select user modifies stats in velocity increase the normal value and object velocity little bit in render render as object and in instance object select sphere now play with scale and scale randomness press plus sign to add one more particle system and select sphere particles from the drop down and don't forget to press number 2 to make it as a separate particle system otherwise if you make changes in one particle system the second will change automatically same so press 2 decrease the number to 4000 then in render instance object select the cube again play with scale and scale randomness play with velocity velocity normals and object velocity as i told you earlier also you have to play with each and every particle system values to achieve best result as i am doing here do the changes see the changes do the changes see the changes whether it is looking good or not and hide all the particle system and play it at first you see the first particle systems are facing opposite direction i don't know why but if you want it to be like this then bake it now before it run the timeline second time every time i make changes in any particle system the first particles are facing opposite direction in the first running of timeline so finalize your changes and if you like the first particle system opposite direction bake it after only first time running in the timeline so i am increasing the number in all the three timeline you have to play with the number also i am just selecting randomly spend some time and experiment with all this thing now see the faces of first particles are changes now i will go to the case and bake all the dynamics if you are satisfied with your particle system then only you can bake your animation otherwise you have to delete the bake multi multiple times to make changes i want the second and third particle system to start at 91 frame so at 90 frame i make 
द स्केल वैल्यू जीरो ऑफ बोथ द पार्टिकल सिस्टम एंटर की फ्रेम देन एट नाइन्टी वन की फ्रेम इंक्रीज द स्केल वैल्यू एज इट इज देन अगेन एंटर की फ्रेम विथ सेकेंड एंड थर्ड पार्टिकल ओनली If you are happy with your particle system, then go to setting tab, select the cube, second cube, and press new for new material, and assign emission to it, and give a red color, and play with emission strength. Go to the scene setting and enable all the four option. spend some time with emission color and its strength also then select the sphere and assign the emission material to it also and play with the color and the strength when you hide all the three particles you will see that the ring do not have any material so we will apply emission material to it remember the name of the material then go to geometry node select the circle nothing appear because third particle system is highlighted so we have to select the geometry node now add set material by pressing shift a and select the material name now unhide all the particle system then select the camera and move it on y location so that entire entire loop will appear in the middle of the camera move the cube and sphere from the camera view select the background and scale it by pressing s key play with the emission color and strength of all the particles to achieve best result if you want to reduce the scale of particles you can reduce it in particle system or select the particles go to the tab key and reduce it by pressing s x s z or x y similarly and this will change the particles scale value then don't forget to come back to the object mode by pressing tab key again you can also play with the bloom value if required color and particle system there is no other way you have to spend some time on both the things now it's time to animate middle circle having video so at so at frame 95 move it downward in z location then enter key frame then at frame 96 enter 6.1 in z location and enter key frame now see the animation now at last we have to decrease it also as decreasing the portal size at frame 220 enter key frame in scale then go to frame 250 enter 0 in all the three scale then again enter key frame now it's time to render it go to scene setting go to color management and select high contrast in look then go to render select your render setting select your location and name select ffmpeg video in file format in encoding select mpeg4 lossless or high quality then go to render render animation 